Welcome to Subramani. Uh, sometime in Jan uh, 2023, uh, the US hit its uh, debt ceiling of 31.38 trillion dollars. Uh, after that, the US government has not been able to borrow and they uh, made a statement that sometime in uh, June, uh, maybe the first week of June, they would run out of money if they can't borrow. Uh, what does the government do in such cases? They use some extraordinary measures like using some of the pension fund assets to be sold, etc. and meet their requirement. But now the pressure is too much. So, we are already in May and uh, as of now, they have not increased the limit. Very, very high chance that they will. But uh, I was just going to look at what happens to a country uh, when it defaults. Uh, will the US uh, default? And if the US defaults, uh, what happens, right? So, first of all, there are two types of defaults. One is an actual default that they are unable to pay the amount of money of interest or uh, capital redemption on the due date. That is the actual default. The second uh, default is what is called a technical default, which uh, many of our state governments do, uh, is uh, pay the interest so that you are not called a defaulter. Uh, but delay other payments, delay pension payments, delay salary payments, uh, etc. And that is quite commonly done by many of our states. Uh, I am not sure whether I can say all of our states, but many of our states who do not have money uh, adopt uh, these kind of measures. So, two types of default which can happen. Uh, one is the actual default and second is the technical default. The third is of course, a delay. Uh, it has happened in the past in the US because of a mistake, but they of course uh, made good by paying the interest uh, for the period in for which they had made a mistake. That was the pure technical uh, default. So, the market did not react uh, in too much of a panic. Here what will happen one does not really know, but we will look at uh, the history of defaults and what happens if the US actually defaults. What really will happen if the government of uh, US uh, defaults? First of all, there will be a global panic because a lot of trade, uh, maybe 80 percent of the world trade or 70 percent of the world trade is in the US dollar. It is a reserve currency that therefore, it will create a lot of panic with people worried about what would happen if they can't pay for a long time. So, first of all, there will be a global, uh, global panic. Second, there will be a hint that the US is going into a recession. US recession, there are enough indications. So, uh, people will say, oh, the recession has already started. So, that is one thing. Next is uh, the interest rates could go up for the US borrowing and for many other countries borrowing. Because uh, when there is a flight to safety, people buy US dollar. And now, if they find that the US dollar is defaulting, maybe more people will turn to gold. And therefore, if you want money, you will have to pay a higher interest rate. Uh, technically, 1979, they made a mistake. Uh, the US government made a mistake and because of which their cost of borrowing went up by 0.6% uh, or 05 Obviously, it was a temporary thing, but still it did go up. So, the credit rating for the USA could fall. It has always held its uh, AAA saying it can never default. So, that could fall and that would again the implication is um, there could be higher interest rates. So, all over the world interest rates could go up because people will say if the US is paying so much, we should uh, the others will have to pay more. So, whether it is um, any other country in the world, whether it is China or India or anybody who wants to borrow in the international market, will have to pay a higher interest rate, uh, US, is, uh, US will have to uh, reduce its expenses. I do not even know whether uh, US understands this, but yes, US will have to reduce its expenses, uh, make sure that it will meet its cash flow from somewhere else. Technically speaking, they will uh, prioritize their, um, uh, their expenses, they may make some payment, may not make some payment, defer some payment borrow internally, right? all those things they can do, but the debt ceiling will have to be increased because uh, there are no other simple solutions to uh, US default. I like what uh, Warren Buffett said about the default saying, uh, it, I do not know how you will recover from a default, but uh, I do not know what are the other implications, but whatever are the implications, the implications are bad. Uh, we do not really know what happens in case of default of such a big country with such a high standing. So, but a lot of smaller defaults by smaller company, uh, by smaller countries have happened and they have been handled uh, reasonably well by the international community. 
Welcome to Subramani. What happens when a, comp- a country defaults on its uh, uh, promise to pay? Uh, 1998, the ruble defended, uh, the ruble got uh, hammered and it, I think it lost something like 65% in two weeks or three weeks, right? So, that it is not as though defaults have not happened in the past. Defaults have happened. People have, uh, uh, the, com- the country has been taken to the cleaners in terms of depreciation of their currency. So, ruble, Malaysian dollar, all these uh, countries have suffered such a big hit on their currency. So, first is a hit on the currency. Second is the cost of interest going up for any country which is defaulted. These were of course smaller countries, but when they defaulted, uh, Russia defaulted in 1998, uh, of, of course uh, then the de- debt restructuring happens, you take some haircut. If the, uh, if the uh, currency does not devalue so much, then somebody comes and says, okay, I borrowed 100 rupees from you, I will repay only 50 rupees or whatever, right. So, there will be some haircuts because the haircut will come either in the physical uh, form saying, okay, we will pay you less or in form of depreciation, if the, if the currency falls 50 percent, again you have lost a lot of money, uh, right. So, that that is one thing which would happen. Obviously, some of the loans and almost all the loans would be rescheduled because without, uh, without being in the international arena, many countries will not be able to uh, live, forget prosper. So, you, the debt will be rescheduled. Obviously, the comp- any country, individual company, anybody who goes through a debt crisis, obviously you have to come and say, okay, let us have some austerity measures. I have no clue whether US understands what are austerity measures, but yes, austerity measures have been introduced in countries where uh, default has happened. Uh, whether it will happen in US, I do not know. I am just talking generally what happens in case of a default. Uh, the US domination in the world trade has been huge. So, its domination has fallen a little bit maybe over the few years, but I do not see it uh, waning away. Yes, we all talk of de-dollarization and all that. Yes, maybe it could all happen, but it would happen over a much slower pace and over a much longer period of time than what people are saying. If you think uh, the dollar is going to 30 rupees to the rupee in December 2023, uh, you are mistaken. It, could it go? Yes. But it, is it 2023? No, maybe it is 2033. There is no, but it is. it will go. Uh, this is all part of the dollar uh, struggling to make the payment, right? Thank you. Uh, even though I spoke about uh, countries defaulting, we have no clue what will happen if the US defaults. Like Warren Buffett says, the, whatever happens, the happening can't be good. Uh, in 2011, Alan Greenspan said, we, technically we cannot default because we are the world's uh, reserve currency. So, whatever it is, we can print notes and give. Uh, will that happen? If that happens, what happens to the strength of the US dollar? Initially, it may even go up, but uh, over a period of time, all this uh, not having austerity measures and spending far beyond its capability to spend, all that will speak on the uh, currency and uh, the US will have to find, the US will find it more and more difficult. Also, if the currency takes a hit, US will find imports expensive and US is a country which is totally dependent on imports for everything, right? From toilet paper, everything uh, they do import. So, if they find that expensive, the consumption would go down and again there could be a recession. But uh, like Buffett said, none of us really know what will happen when a first world country, especially US, defaults on implication on world uh, trade, etc. We do not really know. We can. We are all guessing. Uh, so, what, um, what are the implications for you as an Indian individual investor? Nothing really, nothing really to worry about. But if you are an US investor and you are dealing with the government, uh, expect delays in payment. If you are a treasury bill holder, expect delays in payment. Right? Some of these things can happen. Uh, are these uh, very dangerous? Yes, we have not seen what can happen. That is the problem. It is what you do not know which is very scary. If you know what will happen, like if a small country defaults or even a big country defaults, we will know what will happen because the major countries have not defaulted. But if a big country like US, which is a reserve currency uh, uh, defaults, even if it is a technical default, which perhaps it is already doing, uh, maybe it is is already selling assets of other uh, entities which uh, are not to be paid immediately and and, uh, 
uh, making its payments it is not yet done prioritization of delaying payments once that happens i think the interest rates will go uh, interest rates will go up us treasury prices will come down people will not want to invest so the cost of uh, borrowing for us will go up so the cost of borrowing for us securities will uh, us corporates will go up so all your uh, uh, trades which were borrowing in the U japan borrowing in japan and investing in emerging markets or borrowing in japan investing elsewhere some of those trades could take a hit so there could be some unwinding people might sell indian treasuries to invest in us treasuries so these could be some of the implications but like i said all of us are guessing none of us really don't know if warren buffett says i don't know but the implications are bad i'll stick to the same quote i have no clue what will happen in case of an us default but i know the implications of what will happen is not too good thank you